Hey guys, welcome back to Bush Builds. This is Jeremy. If this is your first time, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I do appreciate it. That number is slowly growing, so that is very exciting for me. Um, just want to go over today. We got some Icon riding gear in from um, from Icon, obviously. And this is what I ride in with my little pit bike. And just want to go over some of these items. So if you do ride... I don't get why people don't wear helmets. I, I know people don't go to the extreme that I do with jacket, gloves, and helmet and everything, but it's an agreement I got with the wife. If I want to ride, that's what I do. So got some gear that I thought would be pretty cool to show you guys. So this helmet itself is called an Air Flight Freedom Spitter. So it's kind of cool because it's like a new school retro design. It's got the eagle screaming and spitting stars and Americanness. It does have a vent in the front, which is really cool. It does have sunglasses in the actual helmet. So this black lever here will activate and turn, or activate and deactivate the sunglasses. So right there, activate, deactivate, there we go. Uh, it does come, it did come with a yellow tinted lens. I just been rocking the clear lens because usually I leave at 4.30 in the morning. So everything's pretty dark. So I try to get as much um, sight as I can. Tinted lenses are cool. I don't think it's really necessary for what I use. Um, it's got little vents in the top so you can control the airflow going in and out of the helmet. So the two vents there, you got a vent in the front. And then if we flip this guy around here, you have two exhaust vents on the back. And then again, that is the Freedom Spit Spitter Helmet by Icon. It is DOT compliant. Obviously most helmets are um, the reason I went with Icon, I, I I just like the designs, to be honest with you. I've heard good reviews about them in the past. I know a lot of people run Icon. So it's just a brand I knew and brand I went with. So again, like I said, it's got the vents, the stars, kind of crazy looking gear. These are Hooligan Icon riding gloves all together. They got a little bit of knuckle protection, but they are a lighter weight glove, but they do have a leatherette or cowhide um, sole. So if we were to go down, heaven forbid, uh, that should protect my hands decently. So grab my cheat sheet here. The jacket is considered a Kentura 2. So it's basically a two-part jacket. It has uh, lightweight and it's vented. So the front chest piece, the whole back. If you look at it, I have a decent handle on it. You'll see this jacket is pretty much vented and see-through in most parts besides the pieces that have protection. So it does have removable pieces in case anything does get messed up or you wanted to take it out for whatever reason. But that's the back protector. There's shoulder and arm protection as well. There's a liner that goes in the jacket. Uh, I don't... I usually run the liner in the morning and then take it out. I've had this jacket on 98 degree days and it's been, you know, well vented and can't complain there. Um, like I said, I do have an agreement with the wife where I do try to, you know, ride with gloves and jacket and everything just for safety. A bunch of idiots out there, unfortunately, so you just gotta be safe. Uh, I've, I've really enjoyed these, um, this equipment I've got, I did, I was borrowing a helmet from a coworker and it seemed no matter what, the helmet wanted a whistle. It was an older helmet, but uh, this one doesn't seem to have as much whistle. Obviously you get a little bit of noise with having, um, having the vents in there open or closed. So obviously running the vents closed reduces that noise, having them open gets a little bit more noisy, but it's not the end of the world. The helmet I found comfortable with the visor down but if I was hot, I have opened the visor and just rocked the sunglasses portion. That's not bad. You do get a little bit more buffering. Uh, one thing I will be doing eventually, Icon makes a, um, basically a Bluetooth headset that goes inside the helmet that you can link with other riders and you can just play your phone and listen to music that way. I don't think I'll be rocking the AirPods in the helmet cause it's just not comfortable. The other thing they have this little, uh, chin piece here that basically helps keep some of the noise out of the helmet 
and it does have a um, has a hydro dry interior in there so it is very well padded it is a very comfortable helmet obviously you do feel a little bit of weight with wearing a helmet but i do feel like uh, for the price of the gear that I bought, I feel like it is a good safety item to have. I do want, um, I do wish people would wear, you know, more safety gear. But again, let me know what you guys want to see in these videos. This one's kind of short, just kind of going over some of the stuff, trying to get a video up. Uh, we were cleaning up the yard today, so we'll eventually do a, a video on that. Just want to go over some of this Icon riding gear. I would buy it again. Uh, gear's a little bit expensive, but I think you get what you pay for. It's a very um, comfortable jacket, very comfortable helmet, and gloves fit, so can't complain. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and let me know what you think. Have a wonderful day.